so we're still out absolutely loving it top tip i mean wherever you are in the world coffee shops you might not drink coffee but they don't necessarily do just coffee do they so we've got juicy water lemons and limes get some electrolytes in got to watch your electrolytes maybe play around with that like i said before sodium cramp cramping up or whatever you know and help yourself to some sugars don't be shy so i had one of these um in costas in the uk you got um yeah, of course, if you're vegan and you go in Costa's, they do like um, a vegan crumble. It's quite nice. It's kind of like um, like a mince pie with like crumble on top. So I've had one of those and I've put the sugars in there because actually they're not in my back pocket. They're in my, my little widget in there. I'm going to go for a um, swim in there in a minute because I'm actually quite hot. All right. So um, get ready for that in a minute. Um, so, yeah, I might put them in my back pocket in a minute. So we don't want them to get um, damp and sweaty. So top tip, it's really nice, loving it. Spectacular ride. I might call it Halloween Spectacular. Might get some hits off of that. Looking pretty lively though. I'm feeling pretty lively. And do you know why that is? Positive mental attitude. So someone might say, oh, am I doing a half Everest? Am I doing some training for an Everest attempt? No, I'm not. Still vegan after turning vegan April 2011 and I just want to prove to myself and prove wrong to everyone else that you won't get protein deficient um I've just been flapping around literally on the bike today spinning up easy gears I don't know what I've done seven eight nine cheddar gorges whatever that's besides the point it's not training right if I was to train and I know what to do to get myself up to blow a lot of cyclists away fitness and I'm not being big headed about that because if you train you want to have the edge on people don't you and I know what I can do specifically if I put the time in and it does fucking kill you to give me that edge all right but say if I had a goal or something I'd be doing that so today it's just been junk up and down the hill it hasn't been reps I haven't done it as reps I just been done it as going down the hill we stopped we've had coffee we've had that drink I showed you earlier some sugars some vegan crumble uh, um, and this morning, actually last night, I had a um, big pasta meal and then some Rice Krispies or Rice Snaps or whatever you want to call them with chocolate, soy milk and some sugar. Been pretty carved up today, getting a bit hungry now, whatever. Um, so we're going we're gonna to chog on home because it can get to the point. We've done 93, 93 kilometres uh, like from home. You know, most of that's like been hills, up and down the hill, but uh, yeah, it's all good. I've been enjoying it, which is the main part. Enjoy it, all right? Um, go up there at your own pace. Don't worry about cyclists coming up behind. Don't worry about chasing cyclists down. If you're doing it with a mate, don't you don't want to be thinking about staying with them. You're going to need to be splitting up, you know. It's not any good doing that because everyone's going to be doing it at a different pace. And things catch up with people. Like later on, you might be going up and down more fluent than them or whatever, you know. So just be aware of that if, you, if you're doing climbing. You know, if you are doing repeats, if you are doing some kind of hill training, get in easy gears and just spin up because that shit does eat into you after a while. So I'm going to cap this uh, spectacular ride because that's been good fun today actually. Right here, right now, give it a thumbs up, follow me on Strava, pedaling more vegan power, proving people wrong.